Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your business tips video for the day. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about how I accomplished 100% of my goals last week. Now, why would I actually talk about this? Because anyone who has been following me for some time knows that in the last two months, I've been struggling quite a bit. Now, one week prior to going to holiday, you know, I was pretty stressed out, running out of time, so much to do. So that was kind of understandable. You know, I took three weeks off, like per, well, off by off, I mean, you know, like I only work sort of four or five hours per day to get the, the, the necessities, the basics down and done, right? So like my live videos, my blog posts, doing my study, my daily study is a big thing, my morning routine, right? So those were the things that I was getting done on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's three weeks and then four weeks, right? So when I came back from, from Australia, found out my PC had died. So, and then my, my, my laptop had actually broken while I was in the Philippines, yeah? So that was out of action. So I decided to go and get an iMac and that falls apart on me. So I'm sitting there with three broken computers and then completely incapable of doing any sort of work, which is really, really painful. So that threw me off for a couple of weeks. Then I had the major, major adjustment two weeks ago, right? Where I made the huge decision that I was gonna be staying here in Australia, right? To support my family and to bring my partner over here as opposed to going to the Philippines and focusing 100% on business there. So. Um, basically, there, there was a lot of adjustments going on. You know, uh, you could you could see it as excuses. I totally get it, but essentially, it's kind of hard to work online without a computer, right? That's basically what it boils down to. With that being said, even prior to me be me like being completely in control and completely on a roll with what I typically do, I still usually only hit like 80% of my goals. You know, for my business goals because I set the bar really really high. Because for me, I'd rather I'd rather set the bar say, you know, 20 feet high and jump as high as I possibly can and only reach 12 or 13 feet, right? As opposed to sitting the bar low at four feet and clearing it easily, right? So now I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it, guys, okay? I'm just sharing with you, with you. trust me, believe me, I've it's taken me a long time to get to this point where I can set like, you know, like 11, 12, 13, 14 goals in one week and hit like 80% of them, okay? So, but I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you how I actually accomplished 100% last week right <clears throat> as opposed to you know the two to three months prior to that where when i was on top of my game i was hitting like 80 to 90 percent and for the majority of the time i was hitting like around 50 60 percent which was very disappointing for me okay so last week what i did differently last week was i went back to the way i was doing things three four months ago when i was rolling right and and everything was kind of hitting on all cylinders all my goals were in place i was creating momentum and so on and so forth which is a big thing so how I hit my goals 100% last week was this. First, I'd spent the week prior, if you remember watching my videos, I had actually spent the week prior kind of reflecting on what to do, where I made my decision to stay here. Right? I had a couple of bad days there where I was like really thrown off because I had my mind, heart and soul set on going to the Philippines. So that was step number one, was sitting down and recreating my vision, my purpose, my mission and my goals. And I made a video on that too. If you wanna go back and check that out, you can just go to my profile. Yep, and I spoke on the importance of that, right? So that was the beginning. That was the turning point, right? And then from then on out, I started my morning routine again, which is huge because if you can win the morning, you can win the day. Because if you start the morning, you know, with, with your rituals, where you're actually building your mindset, putting putting your mind, heart, and soul in alignment, right? Even, even your, your physical body as well, so that you're heading in the right direction together, as opposed to waking up going, oh, what's this notification? Oh, what's this notification? Oh, what's this email? You know, you're reacting to the world as opposed to creating your world, okay? So that's step number two. Step number three is I actually set out my goals. Now, I, I had been setting out my goals, yes, but not in the way that I actually teach how to, which is hypocritical, obviously. So I'm far from perfect. I'm the first person to admit that I fuck up all the time, okay? This is a prime example. So I set out my goals in terms of, I was like, these are the six things that I want to get done in the next week, right? And, you know, I'll, I'll see how I go. That was kind of my attitude. Like, I knew I was going to get my blogging done. I knew I was going to get my videos done. I knew I was going to get my uh, all my posts up for Facebook because those are my priorities. But everything else that was also important wasn't getting done because I wasn't setting about going about it the right way. And by, by, the, by the way, when I say the right way, I mean the right way for me, which is what I'm sharing here. My next step from there, so that's three steps, right? I set my goals. Then I actually chose the days that I was gonna go after any specific goal, right? So I had 11 goals. So I need to kind of look ahead. This was Sunday. I sit down Sunday night, every single Sunday night, 
and I map out my goals. What are the 10 to 15 things that I need to accomplish for my business that I want to accomplish for my business in the next one week, right? That's gonna help move me closer to what it is that I actually want to do. So <clears throat> what I had to do is like, when I set out all those goals, I had my, you know, half of those goals were basically like daily stuff. You know what I mean? Like the quotes that you see on Facebook, the memes that you see popping up, the daily videos like this, emailing my list, those are daily tasks that must be done. Then things like uh, blog posts that I do twice, uh, twice a week. Then I do, you know, my once a week members only trainings that I put out, which like, by the way, I just put out my, my members only Instagram training that I was supposed to put together last, last week that I didn't quite get to, right? So I finally smashed that out. That was part of this week's goals. Again, part of the tech problems, but I finally figured it all out, got my system up and running again. Fingers crossed that I can keep on on top of it or hopefully it doesn't fall apart on me. So that was step number four. So mapping out the actual days that I was going to attack those goals. Then what I did is I actually set out, I'll just show you guys briefly here. I don't know if it'll actually show up or not. You see those top, so the very top line there, that, that green quote is kind of like my motivational quote for the week. Um, that, that, that little line down there that you see at the bottom there, oh shit, the light's not all that great, is it? That little line that you see down there, uh, that's actually a little message that my kids wrote me in. So that's kind of become like a shrine. Nobody's allowed to touch that. But if you see in the top corner, I've got like four different quarters, right? And I set out like, I set out right on there what I'm actually going to get done for that day, right? And so that's, that's my full focus. And I've done it as well where I put it on my actual spreadsheet, uh, all the goals that I'm going to do and the days that I'm actually going to do them. And then I color code them as a, as in terms of like, this is what I'm going to do. This is the day I'm going to do them. Have I actually done it? I put an X and a green, right? Because a green is, is, is a very positive color for me, right? And so that's how, I, that's how I've done it. I've gone, I've literally mapped out my week to take out the guesswork. The idea is, right, and this is why super successful people like Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, you see them very, wearing very, very plain clothes because what they're trying to do is make as little decisions as possible when they start their day so that they can just start creating immediately. Right? They don't want to think about what clothes they're going to wear. They don't want to think about, oh yeah, what goals do I, have to, I need to sit down for the first half an hour of the day and, and figure out my goals for the day. No, you want that mapped out at the beginning of the week. So as soon as you get up, bang, you're into it, right? You're straight into what it is that you need to get done. For me, I wake up, I get into my morning rituals, I sit down and uh, I do my first lot of work, then I go to the gym, right? If I don't go to the gym, then I carry on with my work and I go to basketball later on that night. That's my routine, that's my rituals, okay? so. There's your five steps, guys, right? So you need to sit, again, really sit down and figure out what your purpose, your, your vision, your mission, and, and, and what your goals are for the next, I would say at least the next 10 years, honestly. But if you just wanna start with the next one year, that's fine, start from there. And as you do your daily rituals, you'll find that your, mission, your, your, uh, your goals will become more and more clearer. Then you'll be able to set them more and more long-term, right? And that's where the power really lies is, is really in creating your vision that you can look at on a daily basis and really get inspired by. Not motivated, because motivation is crap. That shit comes and goes. But if you're inspired, you're, you're moving from within. There's energy naturally within you that you're tapping into, right? Your subconscious power that uh, the law of attraction talks about. So anyway, look, and, and then the, the next step, obviously, is to, is to start the morning routines. Start your morning routines. If you guys haven't read the book, Miracle Morning, Go out there and find it and read that shit. That shit is super powerful, okay? For me, I don't even do like the six things that he talks about. I find if I do just three things, which can really come down to like 10 to 15 minutes, that's enough to power me through the day, to really be focused and locked in and get things done, okay? Then the third thing is to map out my goals one week prior to actually getting out there, right? So that's, I set my goals for the upcoming one week. Step number four is I map out each day that I'm gonna get after those goals so that I actually sit down and achieve them without much thought process, okay? So there's your four steps. I know that was the fifth one. I'm sorry if you review the video, I'm sure you'll remember it, but those are the five things that I did to hit 100% of my goals last week, right? And here's the thing, guys. I set my bar very, very high. So I know for a fact, if I, my goal is actually like 80% per week, right? But I was so in tune last week, I was on so much of a roll that I hit every single goal. And this is the first, honestly, this is like the first time that I've done it in probably, I'd say probably three months, okay? So I'm gonna roll that out again this week and try to smash another 100% week following the advice that I'm giving you. So I don't really just wanna sit here and talk to you about it, I wanna be about it, right? Because that's what leaders truly are. 
There are so many people that are like yelling and screaming on Facebook, do this, do that, blah, 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 blah. And then when you actually follow them, they don't do jack shit of what it is that they're actually talking about. They're not leaders, they're talkers. They're trying to pump you up so that you can buy whatever it is that that's, that's coming down that pipeline. And I assure you, that train is never late. So, all right, so look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If, if you missed any of the steps, if you came in late, go ahead and check out the video again. I'm giving you, I'm literally giving you my blueprint for building my successful life that I'm at right now and super grateful for. I'm giving it to you on a platter right here simply because I give a fuck about you and your business. I want you to succeed, all right? So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Thank you so much for commenting. Everybody that gives me the love. Justin, I appreciate you, man. You know how much I love your work, dude. Um, one of the genuine dudes. If anyone who's seen this uh, Justin guy comment on my, on my picture, if you're not friends with him, go ahead and add him. He's a great guy, okay? Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. Take care, much love. And I'll see you again tomorrow.